Yo, what's up there guys? It's Immersive Game Rate 3 and thank you very much for stopping by. Today, I wanted to show you a little bit about creating user profiles in the new beta version of Vorpex. This guys will be coming to you very, very soon. It's really intuitive. So anyway, uh, we've got this game here, Frontline Fuels of War. This game is uh, runs on Unreal 3 Engine in DX9. So these are the sort of things that you need to know before you even attempt, you know, what sort of engine it's running on and then you're good to go. Click on Configure Vorpex, it will bring up the window. Go down to your General tab. You want to make sure that you've got Enable Expert Settings checked and also run Vorpex as an administrator. Once you've done that, apply it and then go down to Local Profiles. So once you're on Local Profiles, you need to choose a profile that you think will be a good fit for the game. So I know that this game runs on Unreal 3 Engine, so I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to create a new profile based on this one. So click that. I can rename it whatever I want. So front lines. OK. Now on this bit, assigned programs. You need to look for the game application. So just click on add. And then you need to find your way to um, the actual installation. Uh, so on this one, I've got mine on my E drive and then I've got a Steam. Once you've found Steam, this is going to be exactly the same for everybody else. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then look for your game. So, looking for front lines, Fuel of War. Bi uh, binaries is usually where the application is stored. So, we'll have a look in binaries, and of course, FFOW. There we go, there is the game application. So, we've just added that as the assigned program to Frontline's profile. Once you've done that, apply. Boom. Simple profile. So that now, every time I run that game, it's going to look for that and it should, in theory, start up. However, this game does not have an FOV slider. So what we need to do now is look at changing the field of view in-game. So it's going to be different for all games, but with this one, I know that you need to look for your documents. It's my second day on Windows 10, so I am a little bit lost. Um, File Explorer, there we go, documents. So it'll be my games. And then Front Lines, Fuel of War, GC Game. Once you're in there, look for the config, and then Input, GC Input, open it up. Click on the top, Control F brings up your search. And then just type in console, enter. There we go. We can close that little window, scroll down a little bit, and it says console key. This normally doesn't have anything there. So if you put whatever key you want. I like using M. And then just once you've chose your allocated key, file, save. There we go. So now we can just close that off. There's a few other tweaks you can do, but I'll do that for another day, you know, a bit more in depth. Uh, just graphical tweaks more than anything. Okay, so now we're going to start Vorpex. Vorpex is good. Quickly check to make sure the rift is activated. Yeah, rift is good. So now we should be able to just click on play and the game will hook. Okay, then, guys, so as you can see, it's actually working. We've got full 3D going on. It looks all right, to be honest. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some settings that need tweaking. All right, okay, so clearly the field of view is currently off. I'm going to try and find somewhere safe. And then just press the key that you bound. Brings up the console. Type FOV space 120. Press Enter. That's changed the FOV. Press M again. And it's fixed the field of view. We've got full positional I can lean in and out um, I need to mess around with my settings so I'm gonna try and find somewhere that's relatively safe and then just start tinkering okay so you can have a look through all your options on here and just change them to suit your needs I'm not gonna go through everything but the basics that you need to have a look at first is making sure that you've got geometry activated and then also, you know, camera modifier can mess with things, but it does help, you know, the height that you, you know, the change, change of in height of you to make you feel like you're more, more present in the game. 
Um, another thing that you need to look at as well, which is very important, is HT positional tracking. This will not be on by default, neither will geometry. You need to change these manually. Um, so, uh, hang on, HT positional tracking unlock on. And once that's on, yep, so HD positional tracking on. So all of that stuff there needs to be on. And then mess around with your G3D latency enhancement. Also your head tracking sen sensitivity. That can be done in the game menu as well as here. Uh, and once you've messed around with it a little bit, just press OK and save. And then you can go back to the game. And it looks good. What can I say? You know, it's got geometry. It looks good, guys. Probably the configuration needs looking at, but you know, we can lean in and out. It's uh, it's a good looking profile.